I just, I wish my photos could look as good as everyone else's. Like, how do they do it? And why am I not as good as them? I, I feel like I try as just as hard as they do. Stop comparing yourself and it will change your life. What's up guys? It's Two Minute Tuesday and today I am here to yell at you about how comparison of yourself and all of your photography and your business will be the thing that is your demise if you don't stop. Let's get into it. So in today's society, it's obviously really easy to hop on social media. We do it every day and to look at the people who we follow, which are usually people who we admire in our realm, who, whatever it is, mine's photography, but whatever it is, and compare what they're providing versus what we're providing. And even if we're not thinking that we're doing it, I think that it's something that our brain just kind of does because we admire that person or we admire their content and we want ours to be better. We always want to do better as individuals, as businesses and so on. So in today's world, it's really easy to get lost in that comparison and stop doing things how we want and for us and try and do them for a whole bunch of other reasons. For because we want more followers, because we think that this is the right thing, because they're doing it and we see them doing that and the imposter syndrome is crumbling in on us and so on. So I feel like if we can just take a step back from social media, every time you see and you go on your social media, you open up whatever it is, take note on how you feel about someone else's post. Are you comparing yourself to what they're doing and if so stop quick interruption to say if you like this video or you're enjoying it or any of my content give it a thumbs up drop a comment down below hit subscribe so you can see more two minute tuesdays and photography content and recipes and everything else and i love ya when you stop comparing yourself to everyone else you provide room for yourself to grow for who you when you stop comparing yourself to everyone else you provide room for you to actually be who you want and for your business to be what you want it to be. You're not thinking about what what's gonna get me the most followers, what's gonna get me the most likes, if this looks like someone else's because that's what did good. And you start providing room for genuine interactions within yourself, within your business, and for things that you truly enjoy. So I know it's a little bit cliche, but you really, truly are the only person like you in the world. And so if you're trying to compare your journey and your business and you to someone else who is completely different with a completely different brain and a completely different journey, it's not going to be the same and all you're going to do is feel bad about yourself, honestly. So my number one message, stop comparing yourself and start focusing on the things that you truly want. And that will be the thing that will help you through anything that you're going through in the business journey, in your life journey, so on. So the next time you open up your social media app, think about me, think about this conversation, stop comparison stop comparing yourself to anything or anyone and just you're freaking doing great so don't even worry about it honestly and that's all i have to say happy two minute tuesday